Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be another weekend reading vlog with my TBR jar. And if you've watched any of these videos before, you know how excited I am about that. Meanwhile, I am going to um, show you, I should have started this earlier this morning. Time got away from me and then I ran some errands because on Fridays, if any of you watch, you'd know. I go running around with my daughter. We usually go to um, some used bookstores and stuff on Fridays. So usually I try to vlog that, but it was a crazy morning, so I didn't get to. But I did buy some books while I was there because I'm trying to figure out my TBR for next week, Monday the 18th through Sunday is the um is it buzzwordathon or buzzword readathon regardless the buzzword readathon it, you just find word or books with a number in the title or even in the subtitle so i have a couple of books but I was just unsure about it so I figured I would go to the bookstore try to find some other books with numbers in the title and then also in December uh, there's another readathon that I just found this morning that is like a naughty and nice or naughty or nice anyways there are different prompts so I was trying to remember some of those while I was out um, I may or may not have figured out some books for that too but I'm really unsure Every time I try to film, my dog decides to walk all around the hardwood floors and it makes the clicky scratchy sound. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. She does it every time. Anyway, so first of all, I'm going to show you some of the books I just got. I'm not going to put them in the jar until after I draw today because normally I would have drawn this morning. But anyway, so um, I did get a new... Richard Paul Evans book, The Walk, it's not new. I mean, it's it's an older book, but this one is in way better condition than the one I already have, The Walk, but it was like a library, and I believe it's even like large print. Yeah, it's like a large print edition, and it's just not very nice looking, so I'm going to redonate this one, and now I have the nicer version, so let's stick that right there that on my shelf okay so I'm not, that I'm not gonna count that as I mean I've read it before anyway so it wouldn't be in my jar but I'm not gonna count that as like a new book because I'm just replacing this not as nice copy okay so um, I did get Dumplin today I haven't read it I haven't even watched the Netflix movie but uh why do they put the stickers right on the cover? That has always annoyed me. Because then it like leaves a little flaw. I don't know. Anyways. So I got this today and it was seriously like a dollar. Dollar twenty five. Something like that. For this book. I picked up. Oh. One of the prompts for that Christmas readathon. Is. Uh, I think it's called. Oh What Fun readathon anyway so one of the um one of the challenges for that is to read a book that is or that was published in december like in the month of december any year just as long as it was published in december and then she said that she thought it would be an easy prompt but then she realized that it was a lot harder than she thought but the the um group or the hmm, one of the books that she see one of the books that she suggested and I believe it's also like the the group read or whatever is a Christmas Carol because the original one was um, I'm so confused the original one was published in December and like forever ago so this copy was literally like 50 cents and I know it's an illustrated classics edition and I think it's like a 
a condensed version of it maybe. I don't know. It's kind of cheating. I may or may not use it. It depends on what other books I have for that read because I also do have another book that would possibly work that I realized was was um, published in December, but I don't even need to be telling you all this right now. Bottom line, I got this book. So I also got one called The Night Before Christmas. Um, it just sounded really cute. All Lydia's ever wanted is a perfect Christmas. Uh, bottom line, her winter wonderland is ruined when she finds herself snowed in with her current boyfriend, her old flame, and a hunky stranger. <laughs> it just sounded funny and interesting, and I love getting Christmas books. So, I have this one. And another Christmas one that I got is called One Day in December because I have been, the weather has been so cold around here lately, and I've been in the mood to read a Christmas book. And... Like I said, next week, you have to read books with numbers on the title. So, one day in December. So, this will work for that if I choose to use this one. There's one of my choices. And then the last one that I bought today is Forever in Blue. It's the fourth summer of the sisterhood. I actually own the first one, the third one, and the fourth one. And I do not own the second one. For some reason, I've been having trouble finding it because I don't want to buy it new. I mean, I guess I'm going to end up doing that. But I want the same covers that match. And I, like I said, I had the first one and the third one and now the fourth one. So I still have to get the second one. And then I'll just have my set. So I went ahead and bought it because it was like $1.25. So that is what I have right now. I'm going to now pull from my TBR jar favorite part plus the reading of the book that I pick but I'm only gonna pick one for now last time I picked I think the last two times I pulled from my jar I've picked two books but I am already reading Heart of the Storm and I am almost halfway through not quite I don't want to stop reading it necessarily so I'm only gonna draw one for now if I finish that and I finish whatever I draw from the jar or I decide to DNF it or whatever and I have time to draw another one, then I will do that. Um, but right now I'm just going to pick one. So here we go. I always pull two on accident. So I have... Deep Dish by Mary Kay Andrews. Where is that? It's up there. Hold on. Okay. Deep Dish by Mary Kay Andrews is the one that I drew. I do not know what it's about. After years of hard work, Gina Foxton, chef extraordinaire, and former runner-up Miss Teen Vidalia Onion is hosting her own show, Fresh Start on Georgia Public Television. She's also dating the producer, but when Fresh Start goes bad and her boyfriend is caught in flagrant delicto del with the boss's wife, Gina decides it's time to pursue bigger dreams, namely a gig on national television. She knows she's destined to be the cooking channel's next superstar. The execs also have their eyes on Tate Moody, Mr. Kill It and Grill It himself, host of the hunting, fishing, and cooking show Vittles, the ultimate man's man. Tate is a tasty side of beef with a large, swooning female fan base. Gina's loyal devotees consist of her free-spirited college dropout sister and her mother, who calls every single day. When the smoke clears, there can only be one TV chef standing, and Gina and Tate are ready for the cook-off of their lives. Ooh, they're going to join forces, and they're going to have a cooking show together, and they're going to fall in love. That's my prediction. This is not a tiny book. I mean, it's not huge. But it's almost 400 pages. So, that's what I picked, and that's what I'm going to have to read. So... Stick my little thing in there as the bookmark. So right now, I have Heart of the Storm and Deep Dish to read this weekend. 
And then starting on Monday, I will have to have other books to read. And I'm kind of slacking on the ones that I've agreed to read for review, so that's unfortunate, I guess. I think I'll get that TBR together and just post that on this vlog instead of doing a separate one. Although I post this vlog on Monday. But I'm still going to do it. Anyway, so that is what I have for you right this minute. I'm going to go ahead and read for a little while and hopefully give you an update in a little bit. It's okay. I'm just not as excited as I would hope. I always get really excited to draw from the jar and then like at least half of the time I'm a little <laughs> disappointed because I'm like, but that's not what I wanted to read. But that's what this is about because I may find that I absolutely love it and then I'm going to be glad I read it, right? And if not, I donate it. I unhaul it and have room on my shelf for more. So. Um, I guess that's it, and I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so I went through some of my books to find any of them that I felt like might go with the um, buzzword readathon. So, like I showed you a little bit ago, I have One Day in December, which is, let's see how many pages. 417 pages. So I have that one. I have this one, three black swans. So it's number three. And it is, um, it actually sounds really interesting. And it's not much, oh, it's, oh, it's like 276 pages. So it's not small, but it's not huge. And the words aren't like tiny. So, it is by Caroline B. Cooney. And when I was younger, I read The Face on the Milk Carton and really liked it. And this one sounds pretty interesting. So that's one option. I have Three Willows, which this is The Sisterhood Grows. But I don't know if it has to do with, like, I don't know if I need to finish all of those first or if that matters. I don't know. But anyways, three willows. Huh. I have one, a three, and a three. I have Seven Days of You by Cecilia Vaness. Dazzling and genuinely romantic. So, um, there's that. It is 325 pages. I don't know if this counts. One of the people, I think it was Books and Lala, I think Lala said um, that even like the the title or in the subtitle or whatever, this is Replica. It's the one with Lyra or Lyra and Gemma. And it says two girls, two stories, one epic novel. So two, two, one. So I think it'll count. But it's a pretty big book. So I... It's like two in one, so I may not do this one yet. I think I'm gonna put that aside. Um, and then, okay, this. I just got it and I'm so excited and I really wanna read it. And I know that it's not in the actual title title, but it says up here, can an evil that has ruled for 1,000 years be defeated? So this is an option as well. But all the books that I have to read for the Buzzword Readathon, are kind of bigger books. Well, no, most of them are. So I may save this, I don't know. But I do have, but I do have one, two, three, four, five, possibly six options, except for I think I'm not gonna do replica because the more I look at it, that's two books in one. So I do have these um, that I can possibly do for the Buzzword Readathon. 
So I'll just have to figure that out. But that is not until Monday, which possibly this will be posted on Monday, unless I can get it finished like Sunday night. We'll see. But that's where we are with that. So I do have my weekend TBR ready, and I have my next week TBR ready. So we'll see how I do with that. Now, for real, I'm going to go get some reading done. So I'll be back in a little while. Okay, so it is still Friday evening. Here's the thing. I got about 65 pages into Deep Dish. I'm not enjoying it. This is probably the second or third Mary Kay Andrews book that I have not enjoyed. I have read two of the, her Christmas books and I really liked those, but any of her other ones I just, I'm just not enjoying at all. So I think I'm going to, no, I know I'm going to DNF this one and I'm going to donate it and I have another one on my shelf that I'm just going to get rid of that one too. So I'm going to redraw and start um, tomorrow. So I'm trying to like hold it awkwardly. <laughs> I can't get one. Okay. The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. Okay. I'm definitely not excited about it. But it's okay. I might really like it. You never know. So, that is what I will start reading tomorrow. And I'm going to put this in my donate box. So... Meanwhile, I'm about, I'm a little more than halfway through Heart of the Storm, so I'll still finish that one this weekend, and hopefully, hopefully the truth about forever, and hopefully I'll really like it, so that's my update. I'm disappointed, but that's okay. We'll move on. Let me see if I can find that. It's right here. The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen, so I'll be starting that in the morning, probably, and I will give you an update tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Today is Saturday the 16th. It is about nine in the morning and last night I did not even read a whole chapter of The Truth About Forever. I was just so tired. I ended up reading like three pages and going to bed. But I read a little bit this morning. I'm on chapter five. So I read about 80 pages. And it's pretty good. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I mean, not that I thought it was going to be bad. I just wasn't in the mood for it. But um, it's pretty good. So I'll read a little bit more. I do have to take my car to get fixed today. Um, there's just like a little 10-minute fix. I have to take it to the dealership. So... We're doing that today, going to lunch with my family. And so I'm hoping, we have to go an hour away. So I'm hoping to get some reading done in the car. But you know how that goes. Like a lot of times you're with people and you just talk the whole time. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so that's where I am with that. Um, just going to sit here on the couch with my dog she's so curled up and snoozy but I'm gonna read a little while longer try to get a little bit done here at home today and then I have to take my car in so we'll see how much I get done but anyways um and I'm still only a little over halfway through heart of the storm so I have a lot more reading to do Usually I'm on it a little better, but anyways. Okay, so I'll give you more updates later. Okay, so it is now Saturday evening, the 16th, and I haven't gotten a lot of reading in. It was a long, stupid, disappointing day, but anyways. I mean, some parts were good, but I am a little more then halfway 
through The Truth About Forever. What was that what it was called? Yeah, The Truth About Forever. I'm a little more than halfway through. I'm not done reading it um, for the night. I might get... I might get almost done. I doubt if I'll get finished with it tonight. Because like I said, I'm like... I don't know. What am I at? I'm on 195. And there are... There are 374 pages, so I'm barely over halfway through. Um, but I'm going to read a little bit more, and it's good. I'm glad I'm reading it, and I'll probably keep it. So far, I like it. But I just don't know how much more reading I'll be able to get in this evening, but I'm going to do my best. So I will finish this before... The weekend is over. Um, I'll probably finish it by tomorrow early evening, but I probably won't finish Heart of the Storm because I haven't read any more of it. And I think I said before I'm like halfway through it. So it's doubtful that I'll get them both finished before Sunday night. I mean, it's possible. Stranger things have happened, but it's not likely. But anyway, so that's where I am. I'll try to update you on how far I get this evening, but this day's been frustrating. So anyways, we'll see. We'll see how far I get tonight, and then hopefully I'll update you more this evening. Sorry, this is a very uneventful reading vlog. But anyways, all right, that's it. You know those days when nothing goes at all the way you planned? That's today. So since I last talked to you, I literally have not read one more single word. I'm still on the same page. And it is now almost 11 at night. Everyone in my house has gone to bed. I am feeling exhausted, mainly because you know how frustration just... I don't know, it's mentally exhausting, I guess, so I'm feeling exhausted, and I don't want to read. I want to go to bed, but also, I do want to read, but I want to be in bed. I want to get in my bed, and my husband's in bed. The lights are already off. This is an actual print copy, so it's not like it's at all illuminated. Please tell me that I did not lose my, okay, there it is. Um, if I even use a book light, that'll be too bright. So, I'm annoyed. Because if I don't get this finished by tomorrow night, it's just going to wreck everything. It's going to, it's going to frustrate me because... Next week, I'm supposed to read buzzword books. And I have, I wanted to finish this one and Heart of the Storm by tomorrow night. So this one was supposed to be completely done by tonight so that I could finish Heart of the Storm tomorrow. And I'm being a baby about it. And I don't care. I don't know. Maybe I'll read just to finish the chapter I'm on. And then. Suck it up and. Be a grown up. And deal with it. But anyways. I'm angry. But. 
I'm gonna go to bed in a minute. Tomorrow's a new day. Okay, so I guess I have no more updates because I'm a failure and didn't read. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, so it is now Sunday the 17th. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. And I literally have one chapter left, so I am about to finish that. But it's getting dark and, you know, it's fresh. I mean, the lighting's already pretty pitiful. But anyways, so I am liking this. Once again, the TBR jar knows what it's doing. Well, it didn't for Deep Dish because I got rid of that one. But it does know what it's doing because it's making me get rid of books as well. So anyways, so I... I don't know if you can hear that. My dog's drinking water. So, anyways. So, I am going to finish this within the next, like, 20 minutes or so. And then, I think that I will get to finish, um, what am I reading? Heart of the Storm. Something about the storm. I don't remember. I will finish that probably tonight. Uh, and then give you an update later this evening, but, I mean, I'm getting pretty far, and then I did buy new books, so that's the problem, as I empty my jar, I'm refilling it, but I just put two books in the donation box, so that's good, I'm still making room, it's working, this jar is working, but anyway, so yeah. I am enjoying this it's good um, it's frustrating it's another one of those I mean you know how romantic comedy or not comedies but you know how um, books like this go where the girl likes the guy and he likes her back but they don't really say it and then misunderstandings happen and then they don't talk for a while and then at the end they get together which I'm not to the getting together part yet but I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen so I mean I could be totally wrong but my guess is and then there's that little sad factor of you know that someone's dead or whatever her dad is dead his mom is dead and his dad's not in the picture at all so it's not like you know her mom and his dad are gonna get together but anyways so anyways that is all that's how far I am right now when I read more I will let you know how it ends I'll let you know what I decided how I feel about it and I will let you know if I finish whatever my other book is called is it called heart of the storm it starts with an H I think it's heart of the storm anyways I'll let you know it's on the window I'll let you know how it goes and I will talk to you later this evening it is now Sunday night and um, it is like almost 10 o'clock at night. I did finish The Truth About Forever a couple hours ago. I mean, it's been quite a while ago. And I, just for the past little bit, have been reading Heart of the Storm. I only have a little bit left to go. So I'm hoping that I'll get to finish it tonight. Um, I am liking it. I do like it, but I have to say I am not enjoying it as much as book two. Like I really liked book one, even though it was weird and I was kind of like getting into the story. Book two, I loved. Now I'm on book three. I like it again, probably as much as the first one. Maybe not even as much as the first one, but right now, a really crazy twist just happened and so I'm not sure how I feel about this it may end up making me not like it at all we'll see um, I'm gonna try to finish it tonight and then I will um, I guess I'll go ahead and let you know tomorrow what I think of it and because I don't think that I'll be picking up my camera anymore tonight because, like I said, it's like 10 o'clock at night. So I'm going to read some more laying in bed and then go to sleep. Maybe read a little more in the, uh, 
if I haven't finished it, I'll finish it in the morning. Um, and then give you an update of what I thought of it first thing in the morning. And then tomorrow starts the buzzword readathon. So I need to pick up a couple books to take to work with me so I can figure out for sure what I want to read. So let me scoop over. Um, I'm really feeling Christmassy, so I kind of want to pick up a Christmas book, but I'm not sure. So I might take One Day in December with me and then also Three Black Swans because it sounded pretty good. So I'll take those two with me to work tomorrow and then I'll figure out for sure which one I want to read starting tomorrow. So meanwhile, I just have to finish Heart of the Storm and then move on to the next so but I did really actually enjoy the truth about forever uh it ended up being really good I loved the ending it kind of made me feel you know that like good warm and cozy and like oh I just love these characters and I want to read more about them kind of a thing but I do like that it was a standalone because sometimes you just need to end it where it is but anyway so I did like that, another successful TBR jar pick, and um, on to the next. But this week, like I said, I will record. I don't know that it will be like, you know, like a full week vlog. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I might just give a couple of updates. It depends on how busy my week ends up being. We'll have to see. But anyways, okay, well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog, even though it was kind of like, I don't know, it wasn't as vloggy. It was more like a bunch of updates. <laughs> but anyways, I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good morning. It is now Monday. So I ended my reading vlog last night, technically, but... Um, I did say that I had a little bit more to read and I did finish Heart of the Storm, book three in the Undertow Trilogy. Okay, so book one, I gave like four stars because it was completely unexpected. Um, I mean, maybe, see, I wouldn't go as low as three stars, three and a half maybe 3.75 I don't know but just barely under four I would say but since I didn't have the option I just gave it four stars but then book two I liked even better it's full of sticky notes like I loved the banter I loved the witty little things that were said um the way Michael Buckley's writing was practically poetic I just loved it so was super excited for Heart of the Storm. I might give it three stars just because it was, I mean, it, it was okay. I didn't like the back and forth. Like, it would start off, the book started, well, I don't want to spoil it, but if you don't want to know, don't listen. So, it started with her being rescued. And then the next chapter would be like her three months ago. And then the next chapter would be the present. And then the next chapter would be three months ago. You know, like it just kept going back and forth, which was fine. I've read plenty of books like that and that wasn't the problem. I honestly just really did not enjoy majority of this book. Like I was glad to know how it ended. There were things that were good. I really, really did not like the ending. The little twist I was talking about earlier, or last night, I got to that twist and was just like, I don't know. I mean, I, I want to be like, it's so unrealistic, which naturally it's unrealistic. It's a fantasy. It's, you know, not real, but I don't know. There were just parts that I felt like were just too far. Oh, they the things stab people and they die. But when it steps her, she does it. You know, like it just, I don't know. Just, I was disappointed. 
this book felt like, oh, I have to get a third book out and I have to do it quick and here it is. To me. I, I mean, it wasn't the worst book I've ever read. So I don't want to say that I completely hated it, but I didn't completely love it either. So, finish Heart of the Storm. And before that, I did finish The Truth About Forever. And I actually really liked it a lot. Um, I, I feel like this might be the first Sarah Dessen book that I've read. And... But I have a couple. I've owned a few. I just haven't read them. So I do have another one on my shelf somewhere. Um, keeping the moon. But I mean, I haven't read it yet. But it's in my jar. So it might come up. You never know. But anyways, this was good. I did enjoy. Um, like I said before, there were parts that were like, you know, the typical. She likes him. He likes her. They don't tell each other. And then there's the misunderstanding. And then. At the end, of course, you know, they get together or whatever. But knowing that's the kind of book it is, that's what's going to happen, I did still really, really like it. So two books down this weekend, and it was a really busy weekend, So, which granted I already had half of this one done before the weekend, but so one and a half books over the weekend, I'm happy with it. Um, and I hope you enjoy this vlog. I'm going to try to get the editing done and post it today because this is the day I'm supposed to post it. Um, I do have a field trip with my class today, so it, we'll see how likely it is that I get it done. But anyway, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye.